Section. Introduction. In this section, we discuss generative models, GMs, that are trained to imitate human behavior, such as answering questions, creating art, or singing songs. While humans have diverse objectives, the model's main goal is to minimize cross-entropy loss by adjusting its output distribution to match human labels. This suggests that the model can potentially perform as well as an expert in these human tasks. However, can these models actually surpass their expert sources in certain areas? We present an example in FIG, main result, where we analyze the chess ratings of different transformer models using GLICKO2. Our study focuses on generative modeling in chess due to its well-defined and limited nature. The transformer models are trained on human chess data to predict the next move in the game. To investigate transcendence, we restrict the maximum rating of human players in the dataset. Surprisingly, Chess Former 1000 and Chess Former 1300 demonstrate significant transcendence by outperforming the highest rating in the dataset. Our main interest lies in how a GM can exceed its expert sources by performing better overall than any single expert. Our findings reveal that GMs implicitly leverage the wisdom of the crowd by aggregating input from multiple experts with diverse skills and biases. This majority voting often leads to superior performance compared to individual experts. We focus on how GMs denoise by removing human biases and errors, facilitated by low temperature sampling that induces a majority vote. This connection to model ensembling literature helps us understand the conditions for transcendence and provides a theoretical framework for further exploration. To validate our theory, we conduct empirical tests showing that GMs can transcend when trained on diverse datasets. Majority voting proves advantageous, particularly in critical game states, influencing the game's outcome significantly. Dataset diversity is crucial for effective majority voting, as observed in our experiments with Chess Former. In summary, we define transcendence in GMs as surpassing the best expert in generating the data. Our idealized scenario assumes unlimited data access and flexibility in choosing functions. However, achieving transcendence may require modifying the data distribution. We acknowledge our simplifying assumptions and leave room for future research to explore more complex settings. Section Summary In this section, we introduce the concept of generative models, GMs, transcending their expert sources by outperforming individual experts through majority voting. By training transformer models on human chess transcripts, we demonstrate that chess former models can surpass the maximum rating of human players in the dataset, showcasing the potential for transcendence. Through low temperature sampling and denoising of diverse human biases, GMs can achieve transcendence by implicitly performing majority voting over a collection of experts, leading to improved performance in specific game states and emphasizing the importance of dataset diversity. Section. Conditions for Transcendence. In this section, we analyze the necessary and sufficient conditions for transcendence in our setting. We start by explaining why low temperature sampling is crucial for achieving transcendence in our specific scenario. We then explore specific conditions that are enough to achieve transcendence whether the data comes from a single expert or multiple experts. The detailed proofs are provided in the appendices. We establish that low temperature sampling is essential for transcendence by observing that the conditional probability distribution produced by our learned function is just an average of the distributions from the expert. Since the reward depends linearly on these distributions, the learned function never reaches transcendence. This means that for any selection of experts and test probabilities, there will always be an expert whose performance is better than the learned function. If we relax the assumption that all experts are uniformly sampled for a given input, it might be possible to achieve transcendence by using Bayesian weighting. However, we leave this investigation for future research. Moving on to transcendence with low temperature sampling, we introduce a temperature sampling scheme for the learned function. By applying this scheme, we can determine if transcendence is achievable based on whether the argmax predictor outperforms the best expert. If the argmax predictor performs better, then transcendence can be attained through low temperature sampling. 
We then delve into the scenario of denoising a single expert. Consider a situation where we have an optimal expert that provides correct but noisy predictions. We introduce a noisy expert that sometimes gives random outputs and sometimes follows the optimal expert's predictions. We demonstrate that transcendence can be reached with low temperature sampling when the data is generated by this noisy expert. In summary, we have discussed the importance of low temperature sampling in achieving transcendence in our setting, both when dealing with multiple experts and in scenarios involving denoising a single expert. Section Summary In this section, we analyze the necessary and sufficient conditions for transcendence in our setting. We show that low temperature sampling is necessary for transcendence and discuss specific sufficient conditions for transcendence when data is generated by a single or multiple experts. By introducing temperature sampling and the argmax predictor, we demonstrate that transcendence can be achieved through low temperature sampling, especially when the argmax predictor outperforms all experts, resembling a majority vote scenario. Section. Transcendence from multiple experts. In this section, we explore the scenario where the dataset is created by multiple experts who excel in predicting different parts of the output. For instance, imagine dividing the input space into distinct subsets, where each expert performs well in one subset but not in others. We introduce a formula to describe how each expert behaves based on the input they receive. Assuming the test distribution is spread across different subsets, we can achieve transcendence using low temperature sampling. This means that with the right conditions, a predictor can surpass normal expectations. By conducting experiments in the realm of chess, a well understood and structured domain, we can assess the predictive abilities of our models. Chess provides a clear way to measure skill, making it ideal for our evaluations. We train transformer decoders on a large dataset of human chess games, focusing on predicting the next move without providing explicit game rules during training. Despite the complexity of chess, our models showed remarkable learning capabilities. While our theoretical framework assumes each expert covers the entire input space, this is not feasible in chess due to its vast possibilities. However, our model's latent representation demonstrates its ability to understand game dynamics and player identities, allowing experts to adapt to new situations effectively. Section Summary In this section, we explore transcendence from multiple experts where each expert excels in predicting outcomes within specific subsets of the input space. By demonstrating that transcendence can be achieved with low temperature sampling when the test distribution is not concentrated on a single subset, we establish the conditions under which transcendence is possible. Our experiments involve training autoregressive transformer decoders on a dataset of human chess games, showcasing the predictive power of our results in the context of chess player modeling and training. Section Evaluation In this section, we assess each model based on its GLICKO2 ratings when playing against a popular open source chess engine. The engine uses a traditional Minimax search with a specialized CPU efficient neural network for evaluation and alpha beta pruning for efficiency. We conduct evaluations at different levels against specific bots on Lichus's platform, obtaining calibrated GLICKO2 ratings for our models. We then play our models against various levels for 100 games each to calculate their final ratings. We report both the GLICKO2 rating and rating deviation of our models, providing a 95% confidence interval. During gameplay, if our model fails to make a valid move after 5 attempts, we consider it a loss. We continue this process until the game concludes. Our main finding is that low temperature sampling leads to transcendence. We investigate whether low temperature sampling can induce transcendence in practice by testing different temperature values with our chess formers. We confirm the existence of transcendence, where our chess formers reach around 1500 rating at a very low temperature of 0.001. We also explore why transcendence may not occur in certain cases, which we delve into further in a subsection. Lowering the temperature enhances rewards in specific game states, allowing for transcendence throughout the game. 
This concept is akin to how a less skilled player in chess may play well until making a critical mistake. Low temperature sampling helps prioritize better moves in crucial situations, improving overall performance. We delve into this idea theoretically and empirically to understand its impact on expected rewards in different game states. By analyzing the effects of low temperature sampling on reward distributions, we observe a significant improvement in expected rewards for specific game states. This improvement is more substantial for some states than for others, indicating the effectiveness of low temperature sampling in enhancing performance. Our analysis shows that as the temperature decreases, the model becomes more consistent in selecting good moves, although the probability of winning remains below 50% against a specific opponent. Overall, our study demonstrates the effectiveness of low temperature sampling in driving transcendence in chess models, leading to improved performance in critical game states. Section Summary In this section, we evaluate our models by playing against different levels of chess engines and report calibrated GLICKO2 ratings specifically on Lichus's platform. We then explore the concept of transcendence in chess models through low temperature sampling, confirming that lowering temperature increases rewards in expectation on specific states, leading to transcendence over the full game. Our analysis shows that low temperature sampling significantly improves the expected reward for specific game states, explaining why certain models were able to achieve transcendence in chess. Section. Dataset diversity is essential for transcendence. In this section, we emphasize the importance of dataset diversity for achieving transcendence. We have observed that not all models can transcend, as seen in our comparison of chess former models. The chess former 1500, unlike the chess former 1000 or 1300, fails to transcend. We suspect that the lack of significant diversity in the ratings band from 1000 to 1500 may be the reason for this. It seems that a 1000 rated player can be considered a noisy version of a 1500 rated player, but the reverse is not true. To investigate the necessity of dataset diversity for transcendence, we quantify diversity using normalized entropy on the action distribution. This metric helps us understand the diversity of moves taken for a given state. Higher entropy indicates more uniform action distributions, while lower entropy suggests more deterministic distributions. By normalizing this entropy, we can measure dataset diversity effectively. Chess has long been a driving force in AI research, dating back to the efforts of Claude Shannon and Alan Turing in the 1950s. The victory of IBM's Deep Blue over Garry Kasparov in 1997 marked a significant milestone in this field. Our chess model testbed draws inspiration from various existing approaches, including neural networks like AlphaZero. Diversity in learners has been a recurring theme in AI research, with ensemble methods proving the strength of diverse teams. Similar to our chess model, diverse teams of Go playing agents have shown superior performance compared to individual agents or homogeneous teams. Our theoretical results align with this idea, showing that training on imitation learning and using low temperature sampling reflects the principle of majority voting seen in ensemble methods. Our work also relates to offline reinforcement learning where we aim to improve upon a fixed dataset without explicitly training on a reinforcement learning objective. By focusing on imitation learning and self-supervised learning objectives, we avoid training instabilities and the need for reward labels. In conclusion, our paper introduces the concept of transcendence, where generative models surpass individual human performance. We demonstrate the importance of dataset diversity and the effectiveness of low temperature sampling in achieving transcendence. Our findings underscore the value of diverse expert perspectives in training models to transcend expert performance. Section Summary In this section, we emphasize the importance of dataset diversity for achieving transcendence in AI models. We explore the impact of dataset diversity on model performance particularly in the context of chess models, and introduce the concept of normalized entropy as a metric to quantify dataset diversity. Our theoretical analysis and empirical results demonstrate that diverse datasets are crucial for models to transcend and outperform individual experts. Section. 
Limitations In this section, we have discussed the limitations of our work and highlighted areas for future research. We have laid a strong foundation for understanding transcendence in generative models, but there are still many avenues to explore. Future studies could delve into transcendence in various domains like natural language processing and computer vision to see if our findings hold true across different contexts. Moreover, our theoretical framework assumes that test conditions match those during training, which may not always be the case in real-world scenarios involving composition or reasoning. To apply our findings more broadly, we need to move beyond this assumption. Future work could also focus on practical implementations of transcendence and ethical considerations when deploying generative models. Our research sets the stage for generative models to not just replicate but surpass human expertise in diverse applications, pushing the boundaries of what these models can accomplish. Regarding the broader impact of our work, there is ongoing speculation about the potential for superintelligent AGI, which may lead some to view our findings as evidence of a threat. However, it's important to note that our study primarily addresses denoising effects and does not suggest that models can generate solutions beyond human capability. We specifically emphasize that low temperature sampling primarily aids in error correction rather than fostering novel abstract reasoning. 